This December, we are recruiting 10 million students from across the United States to participate in an Hour of Code, and we need your help to make it happen. The Hour of Code is an hour-long introduction to computer science for all students. No previous experience is required, and the activities are designed to be self-guided, empowering students to learn at their own pace. This matters because the number of computing jobs in this country is rising three times faster than the number of computer science graduates. At this rate, by 2020, there will be more than one million computing jobs unfilled. And these are good jobs! We expect to have more than a dozen different one-hour tutorials to choose from, each introducing computer science in its own way for all students from K-12. through For example, we are expecting one tutorial to teach how to create an interactive card using the programming environment Scratch. Another will teach the basics of programming using Minecraft, a popular game. Our own tutorial will introduce some computer science principles through a series of puzzles that are fun to solve. You can offer the Hour of Code on a range of devices, including tablets, PCs, Macs, and smartphones. There will even be unplugged tutorials that can be completed without any computers at all. Now let's talk about how to run the Hour of Code itself. You can do the Hour of Code anytime between December 9th and December 15th. That's Computer Science Education Week. Our goal is to have at least 10 million students do an Hour of Code sometime during that week. The first thing you will need to figure out is where you will do your Hour of Code. One option is to use a computer lab with internet-connected PCs or Macs. Another option is to do the Hour of Code in your classroom using tablets or smartphones as long as they can access the internet. Students can also take turns doing the Hour of Code in your classroom using a shared, internet-connected computer. In fact, we encourage students to do the Hour of Code together in pairs or small groups. Research shows that students retain more when they program together. The unplugged options can be done anywhere, even outdoors. These activities are especially fun for groups and really illustrate the point that computational thinking does not require a computer. Next, you'll need to select which tutorial to use. The week before the Hour of Code, you will be able to visit our website to preview the available tutorials. If you're not sure which tutorial to pick, we'll recommend one for you. We encourage you to try doing the selected tutorial yourself, before your class does it, so you can answer any questions that might come up. Finally, it will be time for your students to do the Hour of Code themselves. Have them visit our website and choose the tutorial that you selected. If you're doing an unplugged tutorial, pass out the materials and explain the rules. Your students will enjoy doing the Hour of Code. The tutorials are designed to be fun. Students who finish early can try a different, perhaps more advanced tutorial, or help other students. And that's it! As you've seen, offering the Hour of Code to your students is easy. It requires minimal prior preparation and no prior experience. In just one hour, you'll have given your students an engaging and meaningful exposure to the world of computer science and help demystify what can be an intimidating subject to some. Go to csedweek.org to register now and help us make history.